time for our Pacer Test Award Ceremony. When I call your name, please come on up. First up, we are going to do the girls division. Drum roll, please. For the girls with 61 laps, please give it up for... Drum roll, please. With 76 laps, please get up for... Hey, how's it going? This is Ben, and today I just wanted to tell you a couple of things I've done at my school to build some excitement and motivation around fitness gram testing. And um, the first thing is, um, I've created these fitness certificates, and the way that I do this is uh, I print each certificate on a different color paper at the very beginning of our unit, and that way I don't have to worry about uh, printing anymore for the rest of the time. And I will give one fitness test a week, so the first week we'll do pacer, then we'll do the curl ups, then we'll do the push ups, and we do um, our sit and reach test um, after our curl up and push up test. So we kind of split that up between two weeks. Um, but at the end of each class period that we finish a test, I'll choose the highest scoring boy and the highest scoring girl, and I'll write their name on the certificate. Um, I tell them how I write how many they did, and then we'll have a little award ceremony at the end of the class, and each of them will get this little certificate. And uh, the kids really like it; they get um, motivated to try to get the certificate and it's also a great parent communication tool because um, those kids are going to go home and show their parents that paper and that looks good on your department um, and you know out of a class of 20 kids over the course of four tests I'm handing out two in each class so that's eight certificates out of 20 so eight kids almost half the class are getting that positive reinforcement going home um, for doing well on a fitness test so that's one really easy way it doesn't take um, hardly any time because I just print these ahead of time I write the kid's name at the end of the same class and then I hand it to him at the end of class. Um, a fun thing that we do sometimes if we have enough time is I'll ask the students uh, that come up and get their awards what their secret for success is. And that's a good teachable moment for you to use some real life examples with your kids um, because those high achieving kids are going to be the ones that are doing things like playing sports outside of school, riding their bike, running, and um, doing lots of activity outside of school. That's why they're able to um, score high on those tests. So to be able to draw some of those parallels and make those connections for your kids, I think is a pretty cool thing to do. Um, another thing that we do is, since I've been teaching full-time at the school, which has been uh, five years, I've kept fitness records um, for second through fifth grade for the entire last five years. And we call that our Fitness Hall of Fame. And I have those posted on the wall in the gym. Um, and the kids really love seeing that. Uh, it's a really big deal when somebody breaks a record for our school and we put the kid, kid's name on the morning announcements and we um, give them a big congratulations and I send a letter home to their parents letting them know they broke a record. So that's another fun thing you can do. Um, and then also uh, just giving the kids some time to play a fun game or something like that after a test um, is another fun way to motivate kids to get excited about fitness testing. I uh, hope that's helpful for you guys, and thanks for spending a little bit of time to check out this video. Hope that you have an awesome day.